The purpose of this exhibition is to celebrate the absolutely phenomenal work that has been done across the city of Westminster by volunteers, by our own staff and also by our partners and key stakeholders in the city in response to the pandemic, looking after the most vulnerable people in our city, keeping the streets clean. It has just been an amazing response. This is clearly only a drop in the ocean of the amazing things that have been done in Westminster by the community to help each other. Westminster has really pulled together. Our staff have done a great job, whether it's in highways, our adult social care teams, the children's teams, people looking after the most vulnerable people in Westminster. They've done a fabulous job. But also our communities, they've really stepped up to the plate. They've come together. They've shown that actually, whatever they might do in their life, over and above everything, they're Westminster residents. And they've shown that because of their care for their neighbours, for the people who live in their street and their block of flats, they just want to help. And we wanted to showcase some of that to really show how the communities come together. Ebury Edge is part of our scheme at uh, Ebury Bridge to deliver almost 800 new homes for our resident community there, half of which will be affordable, a really fabulous scheme. And we've been really clear that we need to push ahead with this throughout this as quickly as we can because people need these homes. I also just want to pick up on the really good work done by our place shaping and highways team working with businesses working with the community to help bring some of the public space in Westminster to life so that uh, it could be used by businesses for outdoor seating etc and I know that through that work we have helped more than 500 businesses in Westminster a number of whom have written into us with for me what have been some of the most moving emails and letters I've seen throughout thanking us for being able to save the jobs of people who work in Westminster. I have been so proud of Westminster Council staff throughout this whole pandemic. They haven't even quibbled. They've volunteered to be redeployed wherever they might need to be. They've gone above and beyond. The support for our residents has just been seamless and they've found innovative ways of doing things. They've just volunteered to do whatever was necessary. And I'm just incredibly proud of that spirit from our staff. We had such an outpouring of support right at the beginning, people wanting to do something, wanting to help. And so we set up Westminster Connect. It was all about how we connect people who want to help with the people who need help. And it's just been phenomenal. We've had over 3,000 people who came forward. We've had thousands and thousands of acts of kindness and generosity done and things uh, in the community to help. We had people upstairs in our own cafeteria, on the 19th floor, Unity Kitchen, people coming in every day, producing meals for all of the homeless people in our emergency accommodation. The meals for those people were created here in the Unity Kitchen with the support of Westminster Connect. A number of the photographs celebrate our frontline workers. And during the course of the pandemic, what I have seen from staff across the whole of Westminster is the, the level of dedication, commitment and passion to do their jobs and to do the right things and again particularly to support the most vulnerable in our communities has been amazing and, and these photographs represent and celebrate that. The most important aspect of the Council's leadership role has been to give people hope. Hope during the pandemic in the face of uh, lockdown but also really importantly to give people hope as we come out of the pandemic, hope for the future. That is to my mind the most important aspect of leadership that the council has demonstrated and will need to continue to demonstrate as we come out of the pandemic.